Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install Multiverse Core. What Multiverse does is it allows you to have multiple worlds on your Minecraft server. Be this multiple overworlds, multiple nethers, or even multiple ends. It is a plugin, so you want to be using a version that does support plugins. I'm going to be using Paper for this, and I recommend that you do as well. However, Spigot and Bucket should work fine. So first, we want to go to the Multiverse Core page. So of course, you can read any info here, you can also read the source code if you want to, but we're just going to click download. Just a little disclaimer that this currently does not support 1.18 at the time of recording. If you're watching this in the future, just make sure you check the tested Minecraft versions to see if 1.18 is there. As you can see, it only goes up to 1.17 for us, so we'll be using a 1.17 server. It also does not work on any version below 1.13. So as I said, we now want to click download now. And I'll just put this straight into my downloads. Alright, and the download has finished. So now you want to go back to Pebblehost. And then once you're in Pebblehost, you can go to File Manager on the left and go to your plugins folder. You then want to click upload and file. Then you want to come into your downloads and select the file. You can then click open. And as you can see, it's uploaded and we now have our multiverse core inside our plugins folder. You can then click back on the left. And then you now want to restart your server. All right, so our server is now online and we can go ahead and join it. Also, do make sure that you are running the appropriate version. So for me, it's 1.17.1. .1. All right, so we have now spawned in. And if you do want to check if the plugins have installed correctly, you can just simply just do slash plugins. And as you can see, plugins one, multiverse core. That means multiverse has successfully installed. Now I'm going to show you a few multiverse commands. These will be the essential commands, not all of them, just the essential ones to get you started. So if you're looking for a help command to get everything you need, simply just do slash MV. And as you can see, there is five pages. If you do want to go to the second page, you can simply just do slash MV2. And there you go, multiverse help, page two of five. So of course, you can go through all five pages and there is quite a few commands to go through. So anyway, let's create a new world. This is our current world, so you can just see that we're not just spawning in the same world again. This is our current world. And then we want to do slash MV, create, and then put a world name. So I'll just do pebble. And then you want to put the world type. So this is either normal being the overworld, nether, obviously being nether, and end being the end. So I'm just going to put normal. So there we go, starting creation of world pebble. And there we go, literally a few seconds later, complete. So now we can do slash MV and then put TP next to that, so it's MVTP, and then we want to put Pebble. And as you can see, I've been teleported into a completely new world, and as you see, we're greeted by a tiny little desert bunny. If you were to go to the exact same coordinates, you would see that this is a completely different world. Some uses for this are, for example, if you wanted one server, but you wanted to have a creative world and a survival world in one server, then there you go. If you've had enough of survival for the day, you could simply just go to your creative world without having to pay for another server. And of course, if you want to go back to your main world, you can just do slash MVTP world. Of course, this will change depending on what your world's name is, but by default, it should be world. All right, so I'm now going to show you that you can make multiple nethers as well. So if we go to our nether, as you can see, we have spawned in this biome. However, if we were to do slash MV create and then we'll make the world name um, pebble nether we can then put nether as the environment and press enter and as you can see starting creation of world pebble nether and it has completed all right so now that it has completed we want to go to it so we can do slash mv tp and then we want to go to pebble nether and lucky us we have spawned right in lava so it looks like we did get an extremely unlucky spawn on this one because since it doesn't place another portal, it does not guarantee that you can spawn in a safe area. So there is a chance that just like that, you can spawn in lava. Alright, so I'm now going to also show you how you can clone worlds. If I want another world just like this one, it's pretty simple. I can do slash MV and then clone. And then you want to put the world name. So this one is just called world. 
and then you want to put the world name of the new one so i'll just call this world copy and there we go the world has been cloned so now if we do mvtp we can then go to world copy and as you can see it has spawned us right in the exact same place i'm also going to show you that it has been cloned by just breaking some blocks and then we'll go to the main world and as you can see they won't be in the main world so now i've broken a pretty clear box and now if we do mvtp world as you can see these blocks are all here for us so it is a completely different world and then of course we can go back there we go and as you can see they're all broken once again so it will copy the whole world and also everything you have built in it so it even copied our nether portal you can also get a list of the worlds that you have made by doing slash mv list and then there we go so we have world world underscore the underscore end which is the normal end world copy we also have world underscore nether and pebble nether and then we also have pebble all right so i'm now going to show you that you can also do the same with the end so i've given myself extreme strength and we can go ahead and kill the dragon and there we go we have killed the dragon in literally two hits we'll also go and break some of these end crystals this is so that you can see that it is a completely new end so there we go we've broken four end crystals and we also have the portal now but let's say i did want to make a new end we would do slash mv create and then a world name so let's just put pebble end and then of course we want to put end and there we go we've now made a world called pebble end and we can now teleport it by doing mv tp pebble end and there we go it has spawned us and as you can see we even have a brand new ender dragon so we have these four crystals that we did destroy we have a new ender dragon we have no gateway and we also have a new portal this will mean that of course you can affect the ender dragon more than once without having to use the end crystals and you will get more than one dragon egg anyway hopefully this video has helped you out and has shown you how to install and how to use multiverse of course this does not include every single command as there is pages and pages but i've shown you just a few to get you started anyway thank you so much for watching today's video if you did enjoy definitely leave a like and also subscribe hopefully i'll see you next time